This video will take you through the steps of loading your Bunny Trail software onto your iOS device. Before we get started, your iPhone or iPad must have a free program called FileMaker Go 13. This can be installed through the App Store. Connect your device and install through iTunes or open your App Store on your iOS device and install directly from there. Once FileMaker Go 13 is successfully installed on your iOS device, you're ready to take the next step. Open your Bunny Trail software and click on the Preferences button. Locate Send to iOS and click that. Notice that a copy of your iOS has been transferred to your desktop and then a dialog box opens up and says, a copy of your Bunny Trail software has been saved to your desktop. Click OK. This is the file that, in a few moments, you will use to transfer to your iOS device. At this point, you're ready to transfer your file to your iOS device. Open iTunes, as I have done, and connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer. So as you can see, I already have my iPad connected. And along the top here, you'll see that it starts out on the summary page. If you go to the very next one called Apps, that will open up another screen that will show you all the apps that are installed on your iOS device. If you scroll down the whole window a little further, you'll come to a section entitled File Sharing. Find the FileMaker Go icon and click on it. This will open up a window where you can either drag and drop the file or click the Add button, locate the file on your desktop, and click Add. Right now, it's writing the file to my iOS device. At this point, Bunny Trails is on my iPad. Now it's time to look at Bunny Trails on my iOS device. I'm going to locate the FileMaker Go 13, open it up, and basically you can see the files there, Bunny Trails, click on that, and voila, Bunny Trails opens up on my iOS device. Let's just check to see everything's working perfectly on there, as you can see it is. The rabbits in the rabbit tree, list all the shows, and let's look at some breeding stuff. There it is. And that's it. It's successfully put on my iOS device.